In this section, we'll be reviewing your forecast configurations and what you can experience setting up and utilizing forecasting. We start with the forecast hierarchy. The forecast hierarchy is a nested, expandable list of forecast users that determines how forecasts roll up within your company and who can view and adjust them. The forecast hierarchy is generated based on your role hierarchy and specifies which users are forecast managers and individual contributors. Next, you'll determine the forecast types you'll need. A forecast type is a forecast that's configured to use a specific type of data. You can use the opportunity amount field, opportunity splits, overlay splits, custom opportunity fields, or product families. Additionally, each forecast type specifies a measurement, revenue, or quantity. Setting up forecast types is even easier since the Summer 21 release, when the experience was improved with the addition of the forecast type setup wizard. This wizard guides you through the steps to create the types you want. Depending on how you recognize revenue, you can determine whether you'll be viewing your forecasts by schedule date or product date. This is especially important for companies using products. When you have cumulative rollups enabled, you'll see the related opportunities that make up these forecast amounts in the lower pane as shown on this slide. The category columns default to these fields, but you can customize the opportunity list for what is relevant to your business. When a manager is viewing the forecast tab, they can see their own forecasts and those that report directly to them based on their role hierarchy or their forecast hierarchy. Let's talk about managing quotas. A quota is an important way of measuring success but it might not always be exactly the same for every rep. We understand that you have different sales reps at various levels of experience and skill, and that you might wanna utilize quotas in different ways depending on a rep's experience or confidence. If forecast quotas are enabled, quota data appears in these locations on the forecasts page that are circled in red, where the column contains quota amounts for a specific period, and the row contains the percentage amounts attained for a specific period in a forecast. If your forecast includes product families, this column includes quotas for each product family. Keep in mind that if you use product family forecasts, sales managers can't see their own quotas and quota attainment for individual product families. Only their total quota appears in the rollup table. You will also need the manage quotas permission to edit direct subordinates quotas only, not your own quotas. You also have the ability to share your forecasts with other users. You can choose which manager or user you will share your forecasts with if they have limited visibility in your hierarchy. You can also choose if they can adjust or only view your forecasts. And finally, if your sales team uses enterprise territory management, you are able to forecast opportunity revenue by territory or by role. The opportunity can then follow the rep in the forecast for the roll-up structure. 